Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at Form 3 Chemistry and the topic for today is ball. So previously we talked about the empirical formula and molecular formula. So for today we are going to be looking at the molar solutions and specifically we are going to look at concentration. So we do a concentration and then molarity and then do a few questions. So a molar solution is a solution that contains one mole of a solute in a liter of a solution. So we have one mole of a the solid substance we usually refer to as a, so a solute. And then this has been dissolved in a liter of solution. And the most common solution we use or sol solvent we use is water. So concentration of a solution is the amount of sodium dissolved in a given volume of a solution. So in a given volume, so concentration can be ex expressed in two ways. It can be expressed in terms of mass of solute in grams per given volume or moles of solute per given volume. So if you express it in moles per liter, you're, you're going to hear us mentioning liter, but also the other units, we call it molarity. So molarity can be given as capital M, or mole per liter as you can see so mole per liter one liter is the same as one dm cubed which is the same as 1000 centimeters cubed so we will be using this interconversion when we are doing our calculations so molarity can be calculated using a formula the formula is concentration is equals to mass uh, of solute over volume of solute or moles of solute over volume of solution so we are going to be using the, the formula and also the first principle method. I'll explain how the first principle method applies when we come to the question. So let's do a few examples so that you can see how this formula is applied. So if 4 grams of sodium hydroxide solution were dissolved in, 4, 000, in 400 sorry, centimeters cubed of distilled water, determine the concentration in molarity of the resulting basic solution. So let's see what we have. First of all, we have the mass and the formula of sodium hydroxide is NOH. The mass is four grams. We also have the volume of sodium hydroxide, which is 400 centimeters cubed. We also have the molecular mass. We can calculate the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide which is the same as 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.01, which will give us 40. So those are the things we have. We have the mass, we have the volume, and we have the molecular mass. So we have been told to determine the concentration. So we can use the formula and use the first principle I'll show you in both cases. So concentration, but in, the, in this case, we are using we are calculating molarity is equals to number of moles over volume. Uh, so this is what we are going. Remember, volume have been given in centimeters cubed, so we have to do the conversions. So let's use the formula. So molarity. So we, we have to look for the number of moles. This is where that video when you talk about the conversion between mass and moles and molecular mass comes in. So for molarity, we don't have molarity. We have form volume, but we do not have moles. So that's how you tackle it. So how many moles can we get from our question? So moles is equals to mass from previous videos of our molecular mass which is the same as our mass is 4 grams, our molecular mass is 40. So this gives us moles of 0 0.1. Now we have the moles. Let's go back to our formula. Molarity is equal to moles, which is 0 0.1, over volume, which is 400 centimeters cubed. So this is going to be... Remember, we have to do this conversion. We said 1 liter or 1 dm cubed is equals to 1,000 centimeters cubed. So we want to convert 400 centimeters cubed. This is the same as uh, 400 
divide by 1000. Uh, so this is going to be 0 0.4. So whatever we are dividing here is supposed to be 0 0.4 if you are using the formula. So the answer will be 0 0.25 capital N. So you, you noticed how we've done it. Let's look at the first principle. So the number of moles, we have already calculated that is 0 0.1 and we have the volume which is 400 centimeters cubed. So first principle says that 0 0.1 moles are dissolved in 400 centimeters cubed and concentration or molarity, concentration or molarity calculates in one liter, which is the same as 1000 centimeters cubed. So you ask yourself, if 0 0.1 moles are dissolved in 400 centimeters cubed, what about in a, in a thousand centimeters cubed? How much moles would be dissolved? Then you cross multiply, which gives you 0 0.1 times 1,000 over 400, which will give us the same value as 0 0.25. And remember, it's capital M. So you notice I'll go back to the first principle method now and then as we do our calculations. Let's do another question. A solution contains, so we write whatever we get from the question. So this solution contains moles. We have been given moles, 0 0.5 moles of sodium chloride. The formula is that dissolved in two liters of water. So we have also the volume, which is two liters, which is the same as uh, 2,000 centimeters cubed or 2 dm cubed. What is the molarity? So you have been told to calculate molarity. So we go to the formula molarity is equals to moles over volume per liter. So we have the moles which is 0 0.5 moles. So if we use like the first principle, remember our volume is supposed to be per liter, but you can see it's already in per liter. So we still use two liters. So this gives us 0 0.25 M. First principle we said is 0 0.5 moles dissolves are in one in two liters so what about one liter you cross multiply which will give us 0 0.5 times one divided by two which is the same as 0 0.25 moles per liter or m another question calculate the number of moles now we are looking for moles of copper 2 sulfate. So copper 2 sulfate is written that. So we know uh, that's the formula present in the volume is 700 centimeters cubed. So you can go ahead and convert if you need to use the formula and then the molarity is 1.2 M. So the formula is usually molarity is equals to moles over volume. This one is per liter. So molarity we have, which is 1.2 molarity. Moles we do not have over volume. Our volume are in centimeters cubed. We need to convert. We said it's a thousand centimeters cubed in one liter. What about 700? So it is 700 divided by 1000, which gives us 0 0.7. So this is going to be 0 0.7 liter. So we multiply by 0 0.7 by 0 0.7. We get the moles are 1.2 times 0 0.7, which gives us 0 0.84. We use the first principle 1.2 m means it means it's 1.2 moles 
in one liter, which is 1000 centimeters cubed or one liter. So in this case, we have been given what about 700 centimeters cubed. We will have how many moles? So you cross multiply. So 1.2 times 700, you divide it by 1000, which is the same as 1.2 times 0 0.7, which gives us 0 0.84 moles. So I hope you have been able to understand how we have done that question. Let's do another question. So 7.8 grams of anhydrous sulfate, uh, sodium sulfate. So we have the mass, which is 7.1 gram. And then the formula of sodium sulfate is N2SO4 was dissolved in the volume. We have been given the volume as 20 centimeters cubed. Calculate molarity. So the formula is molarity is equals to moles, volume, and remember it's per liter. So when you look at the formula, we need moles, which we have not been given. So for us to calculate moles, it's going to be mass over molecular mass, which is the same as 7.1 divided by sodium is 23 times 2 plus 32 for sulfur plus 16 times 4 which gives us 7.1 divided 142, which gives us 0 0.05 moles. So the formula mole B, molarity, is equals to moles now, which is 0 0.05 over the volume per liter, which is E. 1000 centimeters cubed is one liter. What about 20 centimeters cubed, <clears throat> which is the same as 20 divided by 1000, or which gives us 0 0.002 liters? So 0 0.002 liters. So 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.02 gives us. So it will be 0 0.02, not 0 0.002. Let's make that correction. So 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.02 gives us 2.5. And we were to use the first principle. Now that we have the moles, we would say 0 0.05 moles are in 20 centimeters cubed. What about in a thousand centimeters cubed? You cross multiply by 0 0.05 times 1000 divided by 20, which gives us 2.5 m. So I hope you've been able to understand the two methods using the formula and also the first principle. The first principle is going to be very beneficial when you come to titration. I hope you have been able to understand. See you in the next lesson.